Hello, this is Sascha from NetworkNews.com. We are over here in Düsseldorf in Germany at the Vodafone Innovation Day. And what you can see over here is a Volkswagen Phaeton, which is an LTE test car. And, you know, it was provided by Starrand Networks. And over here, I have Vincent Spinelli from Starrand Networks. Vincent, you just introduced into, uh, in your speech during the Vodafone Innovation Days, you know, the LTE network and what is possible with the future of mobile computing on the internet. Can you give our viewers you know, a little idea of what Starrand is doing and what you are spe specifically looking for? Ah, sure, yeah. So uh, my name is uh, Vincent Spinelli, uh, Vice President for Technology Development. Mm -hmm. And uh, I work for Starrand Networks. And Starrand is the best-in-breed solution provider for multimedia core uh, platforms. So we bring the uh, intelligence that makes the pipe bigger uh, allows operators to charge, provide the proper quality of service, uh, and also the proper security to deliver high-end mobile broadband services. Okay, great. So you're also a corporation partner of Vodafone here in Germany, right? We are. So Vodafone is a premier customer of ours, but uh, we are also a customer of Vodafone and the Vodafone Innovation Lab where we bring uh, many of our solutions here at the Vodafone Innovation Lab for testing, for interoperability, for uh, customer showcasing and it's been a, a very win-win uh, relationship between Vodafone and uh, Star so far. Great. You know everybody is talking about LTE in these days. We have 2G, we have 3G, we have 4G. Can you give us a very, very fundamental explanation of LTE and what this technology is all about? So LTE, or long-term evolution, uh, is about a 4G technology that raises the bar in terms of the amount of network speeds that a user and the amount of throughput that a user will experience. It will be um, the same sort of experience that you typically have today, perhaps on a DSL line, uh, with uh, uh, with LTE. And the idea here is that by giving you uh, much more of this bandwidth, we can open up more and new applications, multimedia applications such as video, uh, over the wireless infrastructure. Can you give us a little forecast or prediction when we can see it on the North American market or on the Western European market? Sure, so the LTE market uh, place is uh, really starting and advancing uh, quite nicely in the, the U.S. market. Uh, the CDMA carriers there sort of see uh, LTE as the, the competition, the competing ground, if you will, for HSPA, and so there's a big motivation uh, for the CDMA carriers to move to LTE uh, first. Um, we'll see some uh, preliminary market trials and field trials in the 2010 time frame with uh, uh, live production and live services somewhere around the end of uh, Q4 on the 2010 and certainly in the 2011 time frame. We uh, anticipate in Europe uh, the uh, productization of LTE or 4G services sometime around the 2011 time frame. Okay, sounds interesting. You know, just to finish our interview, I mean, we started it with this car over here. Can you give us, you know, some more details about this car that you guys equip with some uh, LTE uh, devices, equipment? Yeah, so the, uh, the LTE car uh, provided to us by our partners at Volkswagen in conjunction with, uh, with Vodafone uh, has the, uh, the latest uh, 4G um, uh, modem uh, technology in terms of the USB with uh, video capabilities embedded in the car. And around the Dusseldorf area there has been uh, LTE uh, connectivity and base station set where we take this uh, test vehicle and we'll drive it around the five kilometer uh, radius of LTE uh, coverage and show uh, the value of uh, the speeds, the services such as video and voice uh, that can be achieved over the uh, LTE radio access network. Fantastic. Thank you so much, Vincent. You're welcome.